The Days of Miracles Quotes from the Sermons of William Branham Isn't God who delivered Israel the same God tonight? Are those miracles impossible tonight? No, they aren't. They are just as possible as they were then. If God would deliver his people out of the bondage of the Egyptians, he can also deliver his people out from under the bondage of sickness because he died for that purpose. It's in the plan of redemption. You are redeemed. Here he is, performing miracles, calling out diseases, healing the crippled, blind, deaf, dumb, working among his people. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. God is in his people. Do you believe it? He's here now. He's in his people. God has sent ministers everywhere to pray for the sick and to heal the sick. Do you believe God's in his universe? You believe God's in his word? You believe God's in his son? You believe God's here in his people, showing signs and wonders? Then let's accept him. Show us the Father and it'll satisfy us. He's here. He's healing the sick, making the lame to walk, the blind to see, cancers, deaf, dumb, cripples. He's here to perform miracles right now. Do you believe it? Accept him on these grounds. Those poor Israelites left garlic and onions to eat angels' food and were complaining about it. They left the muddy waters of Egypt to drink from the fountain of life and were complaining about it. They left the boasting physicians of Egypt to be with the great physician and complained about it. They left a bunch of people that believed the days of miracles were past to be with a bunch of people who believed that all things were possible and were still complaining about it. Isn't that just like the church today? They've come out of Egypt, come out of the world, and are here in this glorious church of the living God, and when we have trials, God asks us to believe and to hold on. But we still complain about it. God never gave you your senses to trust Him with. Your senses are only to contact to see, taste, feel, smell, and hear. But within you is your spirit. And when that's been regenerated and the old man is dead and the new man born again, that spirit is a part of God. You've become a son of God, an offspring of the Creator. Then you can believe the impossible things because you're made up of the miracle-working God. You're a part of Him. The more you get of God inside, the more you'll believe God, because there's more of Him. And the more you cultivate this on the inside, the more you can believe God. God who gives life to the dead and calls those things that aren't as though they are. People don't want to believe in faith, but how did God make the earth? He spoke, and the world came into existence. This world is the spoken word of God, and he believed his own word. And if it's God, and you're his offspring, and God is in you, he'll believe his own word. Though it can't be seen, felt, or tasted, he'll believe it. God in you will believe his own word. So don't look at the things you see. Look at the things that God said. When you get the baptism of the Holy Spirit, that's the earnest of your salvation. In other words, it's a down payment. And if it'll make us feel like this on a down payment, what'll it do when we get the full benefit of it? It'll be glorious, won't it? Well then, do you believe that you'll raise again and have an immortal body? Divine healing is the down payment or the earnest money of your immortal body. You've gotta have divine healing. It's the evidence that you will have an immortal body. If your pastor prays for you and you don't get healed, you might say, well, he must not be a man of God or God would have heard his prayer. But what about your faith? It's your faith that touches God, not just his prayer. You're obeying God's word. And when you obey God's word, God's obligated to answer you if 
you believe him. If you've got just the least little grain of faith, genuine mustard seed faith that won't move, stay with it. It'll bring you out of sickness. Some people have faith like this. Some have a little, some have more, and some can go plumb over their heads in miracles. But just because you haven't got that much, that doesn't mean you can't be healed. If you have the least little bit of faith, just stay right with it. It'll take you out. God told Moses, go, and I'll send an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you to the place which I have prepared. Beware of him. Obey his voice, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. That angel was the angel of the covenant, which was Christ Jesus. The people, many of them, didn't believe it. Those who didn't believe perished. Those who did believe went on into the promised land. And the men who rejected light went into total darkness. And I believe today that those who reject the Holy Spirit, the light of God, and the days of miracles go back out into total darkness. Do you know that you're sons and daughters of God and now living with Christ? Not you will be, but now you are the sons of God. The effects of Pentecost fully came 1900 years ago and won't stop till Jesus comes. Now is the hour. Now is the time. Now is the accepted hour. This is the acceptable year of the Lord. Now is when healing is supposed to be. Now is when miracles take place. Now is when Christ is revealing himself. Here we are now, not in the future. The devil keeps pushing it off, but now is the day. This is the hour. This is the time. This is the place right now. This is the day that Jesus Christ is revealing himself and manifesting himself with signs and wonders, showing that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now is the time.